Hi, I'm Roxanne Jervis, Canadian artist, and we're going to talk today about what you should put on the back of your canvas or on the back of your drawings. I tend to like to make it fairly prominent on my work because if something should happen that your painting gets misplaced, first of all, you do have a log of it. Somebody else can't pick it up and say, oh, I didn't know what it was. I've seen other artists who write their name right across the canvas back. What I'm doing. This is a painting that I did. I, I really like this piece. It's Whitefish Falls on Highway North. I have quite a story on another video about how I actually got to do the, the sketch and the photograph of this. But I really, really like how this turned out because I am going back more to my paintbrush and I'm finding that I'm getting some more bold strokes with my paintbrush. Anyway, I am off topic. <laughs> on the back, what I have done is I put on the back white fish falls and in brackets where it is. And then I put my signature, R.E. Jervis. And you see how I don't do everything all the same size? You'll see this also on the front. It's a fairly artistic looking signature. And then on the back, I also put the size 12 by 12, and this is on a gallery or a profile canvas, meaning it's a thick canvas, and the medium. You don't have to put that on everything if you don't want to. This is what I do. I put them on all of my work, and I usually use a black marking pencil. Sometimes I just go with a, a regular pencil. People have told me that my black marking pencil is called China pencil, and it's one of those markers that you pull the little string down. In fact, I have one right here. You pull the string down when you need to have some more of the uh, marker. So that's how I suggest my people to put it on. It doesn't have to be that big. It can be quite small, but it's a good way to keep track of your paintings. And that's that. See you next time. Thanks for watching. Bye.